Seven years on, 67-year-old Patrick Mbedzi is still reeling from the untimely loss of his daughter. Mpombedzi, who was 31 years old during the catastrophe, was one of 115 worshippers who perished. She frequently embarked on pilgrimages to see the internationally renowned faith healer. A retired artisan and now a farmer, Patrick Mbedzi used to coordinate trips to Nigeria for pilgrims from his area. He says the pain of losing his child was unbearable. It was heavy then, very much heavy. <clears throat> but uh, death is always, it's always with people. Even if with this one it was a little bit unique. But we, we were able to cope, to accept that everything is possible on earth. Mbezi says his family has been receiving steady financial support as compensation from the church. Even, even during the burial, he, the church gave us uh, money. From there, every year, we used to get money from the church. Yeah, until today. Even one can say it's a week now we have received something from uh, uh, Scorn. Mbez is, however, disappointed that Joshua died before fulfilling his promise to visit affected families in South Africa. We are discouraged sometimes, <clears throat> but we as Christians, we understand that time for death, there is time for everything, bishop in included. So we, 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 we know that he has gone to join other generals. We too will follow him. We, 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 are, we are settled. The nationalities of other casualties of that incident remain unclear to this date. Ruta Bobori, SBC News, Mashamba.